Hello and welcome, soul friends and soul families. I'm Yashar, and it's time for another Keter Guidance reading. Today we're reading for Capricorns. Hi, Cappies, how are you? Capricorns, Ella Capricornio. <laughs> I think we'll start the reading today with an oracle card. A Native American Oracle card. All right, Capricorns. What do my Capricorns need to know right now? What do my Capricorns need to know right this instant? The message that Capricorns need right now is coming from the drums. The number 32 coming from the drums. And let's see what the number 32 has in store for you. Alrighty. The drum constancy. Mm, feel the rhythm. A consistent rhythm. The drum produces the primordial sound of creation and can induce trance states that encourage connection with spirit. Drums carry the energy of the materials they are made with as well become an individual entity in their own right. I'm sorry, and as well become an individual entity in their own right. They carry the powerful sound of thunder and energy of lightning and hence are used to capture the creator's attention. They also mimic the heartbeat of the earth, the great spirit that connects us all. The beat may vary and evoke different energies, but all variations are part of the rhythm of life. The message here is find your own inner rhythm and let it flow and live and change while remaining uniquely your own. Constancy, keywords here, constancy, repetition, controlled emotion, vital rhythms, pressing situations, and the time, more than three years. Ooh. So here at Capricorn, you are being encouraged to find your rhythm or as it says here, find your own inner rhythm and somewhat uh, kind of make a, a routine, a ritual of it. Be consistent in it. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. That's what I heard. That's what I said. <laughs> um, controlled emotion. So um, Capricorn has gone through a lot of tumultuous times with emotions in the past two to three years. And um, a, a, lot, a lot of transformational energy with regards to emotions. So at this time, it's controlled emotions. So coming back in control of those emotions and using what you've learned. Um, yeah, so the time is pressing is more than three years. So for more than three years, you may need to do this. Or this may be something that you've been perfecting for more than three years for some of you. All right, so there you go. That's our Native American Oracle card, and I'm sure we'll see how that ties into the reading soon here. Now we're going to go right off into our reading. I'm going to pull an overall message of the reading. And you guys, take the time right now to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when the readings are hot and you will want to know soon because soon we're going to start our north node readings and you know the north node speaks about um what you need to do to uh put uh, i'm sorry to move toward your purpose and the you know and and that's something you don't want to miss out on because your purpose, that's individual to you, okay? It speaks about what success in this life is for you as an individual. So you will not want to miss out on the North Node readings. All right, Capricorn, we are ready. Let's pull an overall message of the reading. That came nice and quick. All right. 
We've got the Four of Swords in reverse for the overall message of the reading. And let's get us a recent past. Recent past for Capricorn, please. Ooh. Alrighty, we got recent past. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for the recent past. And we'll go for the present. Now, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune that came in reverse. We've got the Moon in reverse. <laughs> And finally, because I'm going to go ahead and take the other card that fell, since I put intention on it already, and we've got the world card. The world card. Awesome. So, all right, let's see what the universe has to say to you, El Capitan, the captain, Capricorn. Hmm, we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. Now, with the Four of Swords, we know the Four of Swords puts you on your back with healing, rest, rejuvenation, looking back over everything that has happened up until this point and using that to go forward to decide what to do next, right? But here we are. We're in reverse of this energy. We're in reverse of this energy. So um, I feel like it's like, Mm, I hear Capricorn saying, stick a fork in me, I'm done. Just do it. Just, mm, just, I'm done. I'm done. Just, hey. That's what I hear coming in for you, Capricorn. Um, why do I hear that coming in for Capricorn? Looking at the four swords in reverse. And we've got the star in reverse. The star in reverse. So Capricorn is so done and over wishing for things that do not come to be <laughs> so done and over believing in dreams and fantasies right capricorn capricorn energy then we've got the um we have the, the wheel of fortune in reverse right the wheel of fortune in reverse is the recent past for our capricorn um so in the recent past what let me get just a little clarification. Let's go with that. My cards are really jumping for Capricorn today, okay? Jumping. They don't want to stay up here with me. They want to go. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ooh. All right. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And to clarify that, we've got the Three of Swords. So the Wheel of Fortune in reverse new cycle it's it's a new cycle that we're beginning to go into it's been a long time coming um it's necessary it needed to happen capricorn is tired i'm getting that worn out tired i'm just done with all of that energy capricorn is tired of getting caught up in situations that have um secrets that 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 have lies where things are not um, out in the open. Um, out of situations that just have made Capricorn, I mean, you know, Capricorn has been put through the ringer and dealing with something that is foreign to them, emotions, okay? The, the cycle, um, this, this, this major cycle that uh, Capricorn has gone through was all about emotions. Why emotions, Capricorn? Well, because you need to increase your intuition. You need to build your intuition. And how else can you do that except through emotions? The Cancers and Scorpios and Pisces, they'll tell you, the water signs, they are um, so in touch with their intuitive side, right? Why is that? Because of their emotions. They are emotional wellsprings, right? So with that being the case, um, well, that was the same thing that was necessary for you, Capricorn. You had to get in touch with your emotional side so that you could get in touch with your spiritual and intuitive side, right? But it's been difficult. Capricorn has wanted to rip their heart out of their chest and just take it and just stab it with a bunch of knives and just... <laughs> 
<laughs> and just really just, you know, put it back or not. <laughs> because it's just been a very, very difficult time. Capricorn was like, what is this? Is this what you guys have all been going through? Is it all this heart and emotion stuff? Like, I don't know about this. And I don't want anything more to do with it. Like, please, I am done. I am done. And as you see with that, that, that the swords energy, you've got the, the four and the three, bringing you to a seven, let you know it's really a, a review period to really stop. And I mean, really at the end of the day, it was enlightenment. It was enlightenment. And, and now it's the review period to look back over and come to understand why that enlightenment was needed. So here we are finding ourselves in the current cycle, the present, right smack dab in the middle or beginning of a new cycle, depending on who I'm speaking to out there in the Capricorn Collective. And we've got the moon in reverse. So no more illusions. No more lies, no more fantasies, no more dreams. What does Capricorn like? Reality, reality. No more, no more with the dreams. Let me get a little something to smack on top of that just because, I mean, it's coming out so simple and clear and easy. <laughs> but we can always use a little more, right? Okay, and so we've got the nine of wands we've got the nine of wands coming through for our capricorns so no more no more standing around and being patient and and waiting to find out what's gonna happen no more dealing with these wacky crazy illusions we're not doing it okay we're moving forward we're ready to grow with all of this new information that we now know, right? So, with that being the case, we're moving into, uh oh, I feel like, um, uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I see a nine of cups. A nine of cups. We are almost there. We've almost figured it out, Capricorn. We're moving. It's like um, if, if I'm going to sit here and put up with anything, it's not going to be drama. It's not going to be anything less than what it is that I'm looking for. It's not going to be painful. It's If I'm going to sit here and wait on something, it's going to be happiness. It's going to be the stuff that dreams are made of. And I am I'm comfortable with with finding a new approach a new approach and what does a new approach lead to new bondings new contracts new agreements but what's most important about all of this is that they are even that they are balanced that you whatever energy you put into it is the energy you get out of it reciprocal energy I'm loving this so far with you, Capricorn. I hear, mm, there goes the significance of the drums. Capricorn is stepping into an energy where they are about to march to the beat of their own drums. They are the drummer. They are the marcher. They are the entire band. Okay? Capricorn is ready to listen to themselves <laughs> listen to the messages that the universe has been bringing in for them that's what i see here and with the world card with the world card here with the world card it's like this is going to open the entire world up for capricorn and coincidentally this is saturnian energy so all the blockages that were previously in Capricorn's path eliminate. They move out the way. The world, oh, Capricorn's got elbow room. They can move now. They can breathe. There's been a lot of stuff making Capricorn feel like uh, Capricorn had to be stagnant, had to really sit still. I mean, in some cases it was a stuck energy, but, in, it, but, but more so than, or it felt stuck 
felt stuck. But that's what Saturnian energy does, it doesn't it? it? It feels stuck because you have to prove that you've been learning your lessons. You have to receive, embrace that growth and development and show the universe that you're understanding what the last cycle was all about. And you are now ready to take all of the enlightenment, all the lessons that you've learned, all the knowledge you've gained from the last cycle and use it in the next cycle. And that's important because what is the point of the lesson if not to teach? And if you haven't learned anything, what do you have to do? <laughs> yes, that's right. Start the cycle all over again from scratch. And Lord, you saw that three of swords. It's really not something we want to go through, right? You saw the four of swords. You saw the three of swords. This is where we want to be in this energy. So yes, Capricorn is now taking all that they went through and using it. That's right. Using it towards their greatest good. I love this energy for you, Capricorn. If this mes uh, message resonated with you, please do give me a thumbs up, like, 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 comment. Give me a woo sigh. I feel it, okay? <laughs> and if it doesn't resonate with you, well, you need to hit me up so that we can go into your personal story because this is just a general message for the Capricorn Collective. And it might not tie in exactly with what you have going on in your Capricorn world. All right. Well, as usual, guys, I thank you so much for joining me, my Capricorns. I love you guys. And Yashar is up out of here. Bye, guys.